Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Leo, this is your weekly February 2nd through the 8th uh, tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation first. We've got the King of Cups, Death, the Tower, and the Tower is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. I can see a couple of uh, different ways to interpret this. The first scenario is uh, something all of a sudden comes to an end in terms of your work situation. You could be quitting a job or you could be... Um, let go unfortunately. The thing about the death and the tower combo is that you knew this was coming but you didn't know exactly when it was going to happen and the king of cups here I think is an advice for you to assume this energy and just you know take control of your emotions don't take it too personally something will always uh, come to you if you are if you know what you're doing. Um, Another scenario is uh, Scorpio approaches you because the card for Scorpio is here twice, the King of Cups and Death. Um, and they all of a sudden offer you to work on something, to create some sort of a partnership or to balance things out. So um, there you have it. Leo, if you're in an established love relationship, this spread is for you. An established love relationship with marriage or long-term partnership, living together or still living separately. We've got the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands and the Star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So this is either an established love relationship or an X spread. Uh, let's talk about the established relationship first. Um, so everything is lovey-dovey between you and your partner and the two of you are actually uh, united as never before and uh, you're looking forward to the future together and some decisions have been made already and um, action is about to kick in and the two of you are wishing about your future together and looking forward to it. If it is an X spread um, when they do come in and make you an offer to reconcile the offer will be happily accepted and the two of you will just like in the uh, standard love relationship spread I was just talking about, will be you'll be uh, looking forward to your future together. Leo, if you're on the quest for new love, this spread is for you. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, Death, clarified by the Nine of Cups. Then we've got the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Scorpio in particular because there's two different cards representing Scorpio in this spread. Um, to be honest with you guys, this spread kind of reminds me of the work spread I did at the uh, beginning of this reading. Um, so perhaps the message is so strong that it comes through in multiple places. But it could be vice versa. Your work spread could have uh, represented this new love spread. So take it as resonates. Um, so let's talk about the uh, new love right now. Um, what I'm seeing here is something comes to an end. Uh, perhaps it's your single days that are coming to an end because uh, the death is clarified by the nine of cups and you see how there is one person in that card and that's coming to an end or that's being transformed. Um, and so is the uh, Four of Pentacles on the right, see where is this one person sitting and uh, holding back, holding something to their chest. So that's probably also coming to an end. You're going to be opening up and the Wheel of Fortune probably represents the start of a new cycle or you could be meeting this new person while on the road on a business trip or a pleasure trip. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your Leo this week. And it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. It could be somebody from three months ago, a year ago, or five years ago. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Magician, 
the nine of wands and the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck so somebody is definitely coming back from the past and they've been uh, actively manifesting this uh, reconciliation with you and it doesn't get any better than the ace of cups when it comes to love offers however you are a little bit on the defense perhaps things didn't end well perhaps you didn't end on a good note in the past or it's just you being uh, hard to get and I think that would be a, right, a good idea if something ended and if it ended on a bad note then you gotta let them know then that you're not gonna be that easy to jump right back in but the uh, ten of cups on the bottom of the deck suggests that you'll eventually uh, accept the offer and uh, you'll live together happily ever after or at least for some period of time so um, this looks really good if you ask me let's see if anything will surprise you Leo this week we've got the Sun the nine of Pentacles the Queen of Cups and the fool on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a water sign Cancer Scorpio or Pisces um, so the surprise is you're starting something new you're taking a leap of faith with uh, somebody potentially with that Queen of Cups male or female doesn't matter it could be a water sign as I've mentioned uh, in the beginning or just your love interest and the Sun card suggests that uh, it'll make you very very happy or it'll bring clarity into your life because uh, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck and uh, everything looks pretty bright if you ask me and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.